the role of octopus-like 2 protein in FLS2 and BR signaling pathways in Arabidopsis thaliana by Adriana Coyle and Kelsey Lang, under the guidance of Dr. Karina Collins. All living organisms have mechanisms in place to detect signals and induce a biological response. Agriculture is an essential science because it provides humans with most of our food and fabric. In this research, we are using Arabidopsis thaliana as a model organism because it is inexpensive, easy to grow, produces many seeds, and has a relatively small genome. Plants are complex eukaryotic organisms that have to respond to multiple signals in their environment. Some of these signals are pathogenic and some are required for growth. The picture in the bottom right shows that given different environmental stimuli, some plants may have varying growth responses. The picture on the bottom left shows a plant's phenotypic response to a bacterial pathogen. The FLS2 pathway is involved in the immune response of a plant responding to a bacterial infection. The BR pathway is involved in the regulation of growth genes. Octopus, or OPS, is a protein found in Arabidopsis that has been shown to be a positive regulator of the BR pathway and a negative regulator of the FLS2 pathway. In the absence of OPS and the BR pathway, there is a decrease in growth signaling, indicating that it is a positive regulator. In the absence of OPS and the FLS2 pathway, defense signaling is increased, indicating that it is a negative regulator. OPS shares a protein family with octopus-like protein 2, OPL2. The function of OPL2 and the FLS2 and BR pathways has not yet been explored. We hypothesize that OPL2 will be a positive regulator of the BR pathway and a negative regulator of the FLS2 pathway. We will treat Col0 or wild type Arabidopsis and OPL2 seedlings with FLAG22 to induce an immune response. FLAG22 binds to the FLS2 receptor and causes the production of ROS. We will be using a ROS assay and measuring luminescence to determine if OPL2 is a negative regulator of the FLS2 pathway. We will treat Col0 and OPL2 seedlings with resinolide to, to stimulate the BR growth pathway. BR binds to the BRI1 receptor and causes an increase in gene expression for growth genes. We will be using qPCR to measure the expression of growth genes. We have not yet been able to get into the lab and collect data for our mutant seedlings, but we are working to optimize our protocols and procedures. OPS and OPL2 displayed overlapping expression patterns with a high degree of functional overlap. Because OPS is a negative regulator of FLAG22 stimulated ROS production and OPL2 and OPS share a protein family, we expect to see an increase in ROS production in the OPL2 mutants. Because OPS is a positive regulator of BR stimulated growth and OPL2 and OPS share a protein family, we expect to see a decrease in the expression of growth genes.